Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Search, Deploy, Commit. We're doing a season conclusion. I'm your host, Jack. Uh, it's been, wow, quite a season one. I'm just looking over everything that uh, we've had a chance to do and, and go through together uh, with this podcast. It's been absolutely amazing. I'm looking at, you know, even from the beginning episodes, uh, for those of you that were kind enough to join me and help me get this started and, and all the way, you know, to the end with Fizzer, the creator of the game, somehow uh, being willing to join the podcast. It's just been an amazing two months. If It's crazy to say that it, it feels like it's it's been longer, but it also feels like it's just gone so quickly. Uh, started back in the beginning of June, and now here we are, middle of August of 2022 and it's it's just been so much fun to review these things with you all and and get into the details of warzone in so many different aspects and I, I figured it would just be good for me to come on here and do a quick conclusion to the season and kind of review uh why we're doing a season conclusion and some of the other things that uh come along with that a quick update as far as, you know, where we're at as a podcast, you know, the uh, total numbers, I'll give you guys some stats here. We came up with at this time of recording over 375 listens on the podcast across platforms and nearly 2000 channel views, which is just crazy. And I think it's something like 80 hours of watch time on YouTube. So just thank you guys so much for the support and and for everything that you guys have been saying about the channel, about the videos, about the podcast has just been so encouraging and really helps me continue to want to provide more of this content for you guys. So thank you so much. Uh, just, you know, as I was learning all of these things and, and talking to all of you that were on the show and even those of you that uh, weren't on the show and, and just uh, everybody sort of coming together and really wanting to promote and support this game has been really, really cool. How kind everybody's been before and after. And I know I'm going to keep saying that because it's just a fact. <laughs> you guys have all been amazing. Uh, and so many different parts of the game. I mean, we, we have single players, we have multiplayers. I haven't gotten an idler on here that's in the plans. Uh, you know, and, and obviously even just the creator, game hosts, clan leaders, you guys all have these unique parts of the community. And I think it really, this first season helped paint a picture of the div diversity of the players and, and what it is we do. And even just a quick snapshot of what you know fizzer's uh overall personality is and you know what his plans are for the future and obviously we got to see the release of warzone 3d which i think is going to be just even more exciting as time goes on so excited to see what the future of warzone holds and i'm glad i'm here with all of you a uh, couple other things i guess i just wanted to you know cover with you guys you know in regards to uh, you know, what it is that I've been doing or what my plans are. You know, I think it really comes down to how can I better help you guys uh, enjoy the content of the show and uh, understand what it matters to you. And obviously, over the course of this season, learning that different things matter to each and every one of you. Um, you know, I, I'm really just looking for ways to even allow you guys to share more of your knowledge of the game and, and your specific aspects of it uh, into it. So I'm always open to suggestions. Please reach out to me if you are nervous to do so. Don't be. Um, I'm very open to hearing whatever it is you have to say or share. Uh, even if you wanted to start your own podcast, I'm for it. I'm, I'm supporting everything Warzone. So uh, please do that. Uh, why the break? I've had a couple people ask why there's a season end. Um, you know, some personal information that I don't typically share. I'm in the middle of switching jobs, so I need to make sure I'm focused and ready to take on this new position. Um, 
I'm also behind on my interviews. So I'd like to basically record a couple interviews and then get ahead of the game so that I'm not scrambling for an interview every week and then putting everything together. And then I have to upload the YouTube page and uh, so, so all that, even though it, it may not seem like a lot of content is getting put out right now with my life and everything that is going on, it, it can be sometimes a lot when I'm scrambling. So that's uh, a part of it for me. And then uh, beyond that, I also have some new plans for you guys, just sort of ideas. And I'll get into that a little bit too. But um, yeah, that's kind of why there's going to be a season break. Uh, obviously, this is not the end of <clears throat> Search Deploy Commit, but rather uh, a break to get caught up and uh, promote some things that I have going on. Uh, I'm actually coming up with a new logo. I'm working with an artist who I can't wait to introduce to some of you. He doesn't actually play the game, but he does some amazing work and um, you know, definitely want to uh, showcase his skills in the new logo that's coming out for SDC and some of the other plans that I have uh, for the future. Really want to be uh, frank and honest with you guys about you know what my platform and what I'm doing is about, and uh, you know what my plans are for the future. So, like I said, wanting to release season two here even in the next couple of weeks. It's not going to be a long break. Um, I would say maybe even next week uh, at, after this comes out. It's just a matter of how much I can get together and and where I'm comfortable with you know releasing that first season episode. Uh, you know, I think, you know, being fully transparent with all of you is important. And, you know, I would at least like to fund the cost of the podcast monetarily. I currently host on Buzzsprout and I use a platform called Riverside FM to record the podcasts. And the uh, Buzzsprout website basically gives you a certain amount of time before they start uh, not hosting your episodes anymore. So the current costs, uh, and I haven't had to pay for it because we're obviously coming up on that 90-day period. Uh, the current cost a year is about 144 US dollars a year, which isn't a lot. But even if I could figure out some kind of way to fund that every year, I think that would help me continue this to go. Um, I have noticed, however, kind of like I said, and if you're listening, you know, the podcast itself, the listens haven't gotten quite as many as the YouTube channel. And I think that's just due to the fact that YouTube so widely used and people would prefer to just go there anyway. Um, so I guess just asking you guys as a community, I'll probably put a link to a poll just to hear back from you guys if you would be, because uh, then it's free. Obviously, I can just upload everything to YouTube for free then. And, uh, you know, it can just kind of go from there um, versus trying to keep it on Buzzsprout. So please uh, vote in the poll. Let me know how you guys are listening. Uh, there obviously is people listening on the podcast, but um, you know, trying to find ways to support the show, I think is, is hard. I'm not trying to, you know, squeeze anybody for money. This is not a charity episode. Um, but I, I want to provide something if you guys would want to support the show too. You know, I don't know if it is t-shirts or if I need to set up a Patreon, you know, sort of, I want to provide some kind of extra content, some kind of benefit for you guys. If you are going to support uh, search, deploy, commit, whether it be, you know, I'm thinking T-shirts or Patreon. I guess Patreon would be something like extra content, like maybe we, I would record the before and after of the interviews. So you'd get kind of the introduction that I give to people when we sort of meet each other for the first time, uh, some of us anyway. And then, um, you know, maybe even access to my interview notes that I take, you know, prior to interviews, something like that for the Patreon. I don't know. Um, the only other thing that I had that I'm really kind of excited about, a couple of players have talked about doing something um, from a competitive standpoint. I think Clan League does a really good job of, you know, providing something for the very competitive players. Um, but I thought with this artist of mine, maybe creating some kind of medal that we give out, not just for competitive players, but for uh, certain achievements that are, you know, received or gotten in game from super ascension and idol or maybe completing you know a high level of single player matches coming up with medals specifically custom medals that this artist would design uh, that i would give out to you guys um, and i don't know if that's something i would do monetarily but want to get your guys' thoughts on this medals idea i think it would be really cool to sort of get a custom medal for 
you know, what it is specifically that you are, and then being recognized, because I think you guys all should be more recognized for the work that you do in game. And whether that comes from me or from the game itself in levels or, you know, a particular achievement, um, I think you guys deserve that. And, and even the big dream would be to actually make a physical metal, custom metal that you could actually purchase and get um physically so this is obviously all big idea stuff but again I, I really just want to be transparent with you guys and share everything that i'm thinking about and what i want to do with the podcast and and maybe some none of this is interesting to any of you but i want to hear you know what i can do to help better provide good content for you guys and uh you know all that being said, I will continue to play and run this podcast as long as I can and, uh, you know, continue to interview anybody that's willing. Obviously, I'm getting quite a few more interview applications than I did in the past. Um, I can't interview everybody, but I definitely want to. Um, and I think, you know, as long as there's something Warzone related, I do really want to get to the people that deserve to talk about it. So if there is a clan leader specifically that wants to get interviewed, I think it would be great to get more clan history and understanding of what clans are about, because that's really what helps bring our communities together. Uh, but yeah, I, like I said, I'm here for, for you guys. And I, I guess this is just my quick conclusion to season one sharing my thoughts and thanks to all of you. And uh, I can't wait to, to see you all again and, and talk with more of you in, in season two and beyond. So thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed season one of Search, Deploy, Commit, and we'll see you in the next one.